Today's question is a good one. How do you know who has bought through your email so that you won't promote to the same person on your list again? That is the question for today. Welcome to my channel. It's Q&A Friday and I'm Pamela Bassa and I'm about to break this down. So you've been selling on your list or you've built your list and it's going really, really well. One of the biggest things that will annoy your audience like crazy is if you keep selling to them the same products that they have already bought. It's kind of like scrolling on Facebook and you have purchased something and you keep seeing an ad for the same exact thing. Or perhaps you've bought a pair of shoes and you've gone into the store and the salesperson sees that you're wearing those shoes and still tries to sell you the same pair of shoes. It's going to be annoying. You're just going to turn around and go, uh, take a look at my shoes. I've already got these shoes. Well, it's the same thing on email. One of the hardest things to do in your business is to build an email list. So once you have built one, you want to work really hard to protect that list. Now, how do you do that? You want to make sure that you are segmenting your list and sending to people the various things that they need at their stage of the buyer's journey. So that brings me back to today's question. If somebody has already purchased something from you, then you definitely do not want to send them an email for that same thing. Now, if you are using ConvertKit, which is the creator marketing platform of my choice that I use in my business, I'm going to be diving in and walking you through exactly how to exclude them from your email. So let's dive in right. So the first thing you want to do if you want to exclude your buyers is you first need to set up a tag for your buyers. So how do you do that? Let's jump in and take a look. So in ConvertKit, can you go to grow and then you go over to subscribers over there once you're in subscribers you've got to scroll down to create a tag focus right here on the right hand side you've got to go all the way to the bottom to create a tag now I have a lot of tags as you can see so I'm moving as quickly as I can to hit the create a tag and here we are create a tag then you want to name your tag I name my tag according to whatever it is that I have sold along with the word buyer. So if I have sold a product that's called sales system kit, I don't know, or something like that, then I would call it buyer sales system kit. And then I would hit save. And now that tag has been created. Then when you are sending your email, it's very easy to exclude the buyer from that tag. There are several ways to do this, but I want to show you the simplest way. So let's go ahead and send an email right now. So to send an email, we go over here to send. And then we, depends on what type of email you want to send, you might be sending either a broadcast email or a sequence, an email within a sequence. Well, it's pretty much very similar the way you do both, but I'm going to show you how to exclude them inside of your broadcast email. So over here, you click on broadcasts, then you click on new broadcast so that we can set up a new one. And then I'm going to begin typing. So insert your subject here. Insert email here and then you click on next over here. When you get onto this part, it's going to show you how many subscribers you have and it's going to show you all of your subscribers as it says here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click on add filter group. We want to filter out the group of people that we don't want to receive this email. So I'm going to click on add filter group over here and over here where it says matching, you want to hit the drop down and change this to none. Once you have done that, you then want to click on add filter in this section. And then if you remember earlier, we created a tag. So now we need to find that tag and then add that in. So I'm going to click on this drop down over here I'm going to click on subscribe to and then instead of forms over here I'm going to hit the drop down and select tags now I'm nearly there once I have done this I've got this last section over here now I need to find the tag so I'm going to start typing until I find the tag so if I remember correctly the type the tag was called buy at sales system kit so it has shown up thankfully I'm going to now select that and then I'm going to click on add filter and now that filter is going to send so what I've said set to convert kit right now is I have set convert kit when you send this email I want you to send it to all my subscribers except people who have this tag now of course you don't want to send it to all of your subscribers if you don't want to so you can create various other tags you can even create a segment to remove people there are several ways that you can do this but I find that doing it this way is the simplest form and it gets your results every single time so once you've done that you simply go over here to click on continue 
And then so, uh, ConvertKit is going to confirm that you want to uh, send uh, your email and then you simply hit send broadcast and then of course uh, they will receive your email. Well, the people who you don't want to receive your email won't receive your email. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed that. I'm Pamela Bassa, the founder of The Lucrative Lady. If you enjoyed this uh, quick Q&A Friday slash quick tutorial slash, you know, behind the scenes jumping on my laptop, then make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I publish three times a week. Now, before you dive off, if you were interested in this specific video, then you're definitely going to like what I have for you over here. So check out this playlist for all sorts of things related to ConvertKit, automation, email funnels, and all of that good stuff. And I'll see you in my next video. See you then. Bye.